All right, so I'm back. Only an instant for you, but a lifetime for me. Anyways, one thing I did notice here when I came back, I was looking at stuff planting my root back. I have a bit of wobble on these landers. It looks like I accidentally put these legs too high, so only three of my legs are doing the work. Um, any more load, those would have broken off. Big error on my part. I want to make sure those things are nice and on the same level, or again, just I should have used three. Could have used three. Still would have been probably the limit of this. I'm on a bit of a slope, so it's probably sliding a little bit. Now, before you launch, you kind of want to plan it how you want to launch at. Now, you can see there's curb in there, and I am pretty much dead on the other side of it. The sun's almost, well, pretty much I'm eclipsing almost right now. Makes a real easy choice of which way you want to go to launch. Orbit escape on this planet, or on this mon, mini mon, mass is pretty pretty easy. It doesn't take much fuel, so it doesn't matter. And fortunately, I also have lots of fuel here. Now, if I didn't have any fuel left, or very little, I'd just probably give myself enough of boost to get going, jettison the stage and go, but being on the, the mini mass here, plenty of fuel, plenty of thrust, shouldn't be a problem. Now, just about like Kerbin, when you launch, you can take off your heading, because even though the orbit's here, you won't go along this orbit. Your heading is, again, all relative. So north is north, south is south. So this way would be just a little bit off of, uh, I can never figure this part out. A little bit off of 90, a little bit off 270, so I guess that's west. Right, so I think I'm standing there. North, west, east, south. I can't, I can't think of it right now, but anyways, that's 90, that should be 270. So we'll take off on, well the only thing I would count is that you're also orbiting here too. So when you leave, you're also going to have the orbit here. So I'm going to go off on this point just so I don't have all the velocity of the minimus to deal with as well. Pretty much straightforward then. Otherwise I'll make correction burns. So we're going to look here. So I'm going to take off, cut along at 270. Just enough to capture orbit or escape orbit. See how it goes, and we should cut in nice and you need the curb in. Plenty of fuel to make corrections. Again, that's a nice part of overkill. Around the small tanks, I'd be almost out. Around the big tanks, still got here fine. Lots of fuel to play around with. Anyways, enough ch chattering, let's go. Bit of thrust. Don't want to take off too fast. And we'll start my bank to 270. The nice thing about mini moose is because, again, there's no atmosphere. Once you're off, that's pretty much it. I don't want to use too much fuel. We'll make sure I'm going the right way here. Hard to say. Let's go to big gas. Yep, you can see how the apple apps is coming on this way. So we'll just crank her up just enough to clear off there. Again, I should have already done some correction burns, so keep it slow so I don't overshoot it. And right now my goal is just to leave orbit. So we'll... Oops, I probably gave it too much. I'm going to burn horizon. And by burning horizon, it'll stop giving me altitude and just give me more escape velocity. That's what I'm after. I'm burning this way. I'm actually countering the orbit of main moves. Pretty much I'm actually kind of almost stalling myself in space. Oh, come on, escape velocity. There we go. You see, I can just keep burning and it's going to bring it in nice and close. And actually, I can probably just keep burning on this axis time. Pretty perpendicular. And just get this Periapsis right in close. We'll be able to capture without even any hassle. Which is quite nice. Not often that gets to happen. So we had a tough time getting here, but getting back won't be a big deal. They're nice and close, because I want to control my landing too, so. We'll see how my capture is there. Good capture. Just keep slowing it down. Watch my altitude. Get down to about 150. Oop, a bit too much, but oh well. And there you have it. You can see I'll just be running away from the mini moon. Between these landing gears. 
Oops, have to slow down the like, green wing gears. Alright, it's your gears, your landing feet. And we'll say goodbye to Minis. You can see there's a nice safe landing. Gotta choose exactly where I want it to be. Safe landing, no problems aside from some off the landing gears. Oh, that's the fun of it. You never know what kind of problems you'll get, but with good forethought, if you do have an error, a bit of redundancy, and it was fine. You can see I had that error capturing, but because I had the bit of extra, it didn't make any difference. It only took an extra six days. <laughs> But they're Kerbinauts. I'm sure they packed extra Kerbler cookies. I don't know. Anyways, not much to watch to get in here, so I'll just speed it up. And capture right in the Kerbin orbit there. Quick thing here I want to show you is the way I'm actually orbiting is I'm orbiting this way. Remember I was talking about because Minimus was going this way, even though it was burning all this way, when I escaped orbit I still had the orbital speed I had with Minimus. So the velocity I was showing was only my escape orbit. So my escape velocity was actually less than the orbital velocity of Minimus. So I escaped about 274, or well the, the velocity is 274.1, I think I was doing about 220 when it left. So you can see I still have that 50 meters per second orbit, uh, orbit to the 90 degrees I guess. That's, yeah it's 90. So one of those interesting things I've got to kind of consider, keep track of, especially when we start getting planetary stuff. Even if you escape out this way, you're still going this way pretty fast. Alright, we're back at Kerbin. Coming up on the uh, apoapsis, I guess it's called. Nope. Oh, I've been getting it wrong. Periapsis and apoapsis. Sorry, I've had that wrong, I think, the whole time. So anyways, my periapsis. If you guys haven't already shouted around down that in comments, come up here. Sam nice close. You see I have a lot of velocity, just all that time accelerating back from the minimus. No way to avoid it. So we're going to start braking here. And again, good thing I spare fuel because this will take a lot. Or jam lightweight. Oop, okay, captured the moon again. Now the first bit doesn't take too much. It's getting that last bit of velocity cancelled that really lead up the fuel. Now, the main thing is I just want to bring it down enough to capture orbit because I'm actually going to do some correctional burns. Let's see if we can find the launch pad. Hey, look, I've junked at the launch pad. Must have been from my testing phase. Maybe I crashed or lost something, I'm not sure. We can see that's where I'll be trying to land up my orbit, land up my orbit here. We're going to see if we can get as close as we can to the original landing pad. See, I've burned up a quarter of that tank already. If I was just running off these, well, for all I know, I could have been out by now. That one, and even though I'll just these, that one will actually break me a little bit less than these two will. So, breaking fuel, very important. If you can make a whole successful mission, and I have run out of fuel on the final step here. It's not fun, quite annoying actually, but well, what can you do? Come on, brakes. Yep, coming up on it. Oh, well, that didn't work too bad. Brakes here. Now you see I'm not lined up yet here. And so what I'm going to do is where I am right now. Oh, let's see. Actually, that's a perfect spot to burn. So I'm pretty much almost in the equator now, so I want that to come south. So that will come north. So, oop, had a hiccup there. Line myself up to the 180 which is south. Remember I was talking about how, like I think it's like a pin. So there's, going away from Earth, there's the ground, so if we look at it, when I'm pointing at 180, I got, imagine like a pin going through the gimbal. So I'm pointing like that. So essentially what the gimbal is showing is that, only if I was way down, you'd be on the horizon there. That's what I think of the gimbal, so. When you want to make corporal correction, use these headings. You want to always be to the horizon. And let's correct this orbit here. The only reason I have to correct it is I am burning the wrong way. I want it to go north. Ha ha ha. What happens when you talk and fly? Darn Kerbals are probably texting on their cell phones just trying to fly a shuttle. Jeez. I want their reception. Must be using the old network. None of this short range, easily obstructed 4G stuff, but well, that's what sells phones, I guess. Cell phones. Ah, anyways. 
So I want to go for north here. Oh, wait, I am doing that wrong, actually. Because it pivots on me, so if I want to bring that end up, I actually have to... That's right. I was burned right the first time. Bad perspective. I'll get it right one of these days. But lots of field to play around with. Again, that's what you kind of watch. Notice by feel a lot of you make those corrections. If, you're, if I was trying to do this by numbers, well, I'd be lost by now because it only takes one degree of offset to completely throw out a plan. Could have landed by now, but again, the purpose of this is also how to kind of control the spacecraft. So you see I'm setting my orbit path. Not going as fast as before because again, I'm moving at a lot higher velocity, a lot wide overall diameter of orbital range. I mean, if that's 100 kilometers, you know, the whole thing is... I think I'm out of fuel. Ah, oh, yes I am. Goodbye landing stage. Finish on my correction, and that'll do it. Now again, what I could have done, is I could have adjusted, because you can still move your stage around here, I could have moved stuff around, because it does boost a different stage. Pretty much could have played around with it, and gotten these engi this engine to ignite, but I'm not worried about space junk this time. Usually I am, I'll try to jettison stuff so it crashes on planet, only strike stages. Uh, on a different one where I have mods, I actually was able to set the full moon base without having any space junk orbiting. It was all nice clean because I jettisoned everything just as I was about to change into orbit phases, which when everything crashed down nicely, littering the planets as opposed to a nice clean space. Now I saw how I adjusted that, I'm just going to again speed up time, get myself around a bit closer to the space plant, space dock. I need to do some more orbital adjustments here as I swing around. Bring myself closer to the equator. So that's the plane that this is on. Again, there's another launch pad. I won't give spoilers here. I think I already spoiled it when I saw that arch there. And then, honestly, that was accidental. So if any of you get mad at me for spoilers, I'll be sure to put the spoiler thing in the description. And I'll blame it on you guys if you didn't read the description. I mean, everybody reads those descriptions. Why wouldn't you? They're awesome. Full of so much useful information like highs and I'd like to thank the Academy for sending me to space. Ah, uh, so I'm really making this quite boring, but so much useful information. Oops. I wait, what the Oh, that was a big mistake. That's two hundred and seventy again. Texting this time. Probably on Skype or something. You need Bill and Bob here. They're serious business when it comes to rocket. I don't want to burn up too much fuel. Now these things, these things are pretty fueled. Misery though, and I have two large tanks that are just full, so I'm not too worried. And almost there. Oh, that look all that good. So far, so good. Now you can always kind of tell your line. If you have the planet icon, you can line it up through there. You can see I'm actually still a bit north. So when I get around to here, I'll give it another burn. South, and that'll pretty much crater me up. All right, getting ready for my final burn here. Main reason is, oops, not off. I find it quite odd that the SAS and the advanced SAS work the same. I didn't think they would. So I know when I don't have the advanced SAS or any of the SAS at all, I can give little motions and of course the capsule will stop the motion. So that's what I was trying to do. Might have to work without the either the advanced or the regular SAS. It was getting ready for braking. And now one the reason I'm doing braking like this is that current G forces and stuff don't affect. See my little G force meter here. And when you hit atmosphere and it starts to turn, you'll get some serious G forces if you come in too steep. So I'll just flying right above it and stopping. But one of the things they talked about also is they're looking at maybe doing heat for atmospheric entries. And so just a practice, it's kind of, I've been coming at nice angles to get low G-forces, kind of more role-playing right now. So what I'll do is I'm coming up on this, and my orbit's so close, I'm actually coming up pretty fast. You can see I'm about four minutes away from being there, so I'll hit the brakes. And just bring this in. It might take a little bit with a single thruster, but already I've already entered atmosphere, so no matter what, my Kerbal's getting back all right. You know, still plenty of fuel. See, I could have gotten away with just one of these tanks. I mean, 
just goes to show you, you never know. But if I was out of fuel, I would have been on the landing stage. I'd use up more there. If I was landing at the moon, I would use up a lot more. And I wouldn't need that stage. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring this in until it's a bit ahead. Because again, the planet's still rotating. And of course, when you hit the atmosphere, you'll decelerate too. So it's a really touch and feel. I've gotten close to landing on the in the complex, I landed a little bit north of the runway once, but it's all kind of touch and go, practice, experimentation. If I was using a space plane, this is pretty important. It'll get you now nice, glide paths in, let you get nice control. For this, it doesn't really matter, it's more for fun. As we burn down, I get myself in a bit closer, a bit closer. So I hit and break slick because I was talking too much and looking at other stuff. But just still be okay. Let's see what I'm already at twelve thousand. You can see I'm actually dropping really pretty starting to get a pretty quick drop here as I'm coming in. Oops. Ah, come on. Keep going. You can do it, Kerbals. Some adjusting the air brakes. Quick, throw up Liney. He's panicking. Wait, they're all panicking. They're all screaming. I was surprised they weren't so panicking. What kind of different group of guys these ones are. We're almost in there. Now again, if I came in, I'll be hitting some serious cheese. I'm coming to say I should have started breaking a lot sooner. Coming out of this more shallow angle like than this. So we're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. And I think I'll hit the brakes now. And I hit him too late. I think. Oh well. We're committed now. You can see we're coming at you really fast. Get rid of that stage. Now I haven't armed my parachute with the uh, stage coupler. That's because I want to let gravity decelerate me a bit. See there we can see the space center coming in. I will be landing a fair bit short here because I'll be hitting atmosphere. I'll probably be a little bit. But well we just came back from Mini Moose to land a uh, Five minute car right away, I'm not too worried about that. Should be in the G-force here pretty soon. I'm kind of way too hot for what I should be. Hey, it's in the water. That's the way I survived. I kind of expected that, but here's my deceleration. It's pretty heavy G's. Oops, I'm on fast forward. Order. It's not so fast. There we go. That's better. You can see it hit the brakes too much, but pretty close. I know it kind of is coming into. Uh, we'll wait till my gloss slows down more and then I'll be a uh, parachute. So you can see with those adjustments, I'm almost on a perfect glide path for that runway. If I was on a space plane, shoot, I'd be down. No problems. If I'd given myself a little more throttle, I would have been landing right there. You can actually see a bit I jettisoned. It's almost going to land right on the base. Wait a sec. Oh, ain't that a glitch? That's that stuff that was sitting there. It's kind of just over in a minute space. Oh, and there lands that bit of fuel tank. Oh well, there was no people living there anyways. Go find ourselves some rabbits. And well, I thank you. I hope you enjoyed the flight. Nice night landing. Hope you guys got some good tips. We can say this shortly as we cast over the little ridge that forms here. But once again, like I was saying, safe flight. Everybody's happy except for Bliny. He's just amazed. He was, many had to die before him in order for his opportunity to come up. After all, there were none floating in space or creating that mission, so it had to be death. And celebration will spin. Oh, it's not spinning here. It used to spin. Anyways, thank you a lot. Hope you learned something. If you have any questions, hit me up on the Kerbal forums. I use a similar name. You easily recognize me. Or else just hit me up in the comments. Anyway, well, have a good one and good night.